Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. How are you going today? How are you going today? That's a big question. Because the world is going cray cray. Wouldn't you agree? You know, the last couple of weeks where I've been doing tarot on a Sunday, the cards have been horrible. <laughs> and I'll be honest, okay? There is a lot of not nice things happening. And I'm sure you'd all agree with that, okay? So today I want to talk about how to stay sane in a crazy world. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to give us some tools on how to survive this stuff. Because it is imperative that we keep our vibrations high and that we get through the next year or two because it's going to be very, very hard for very, very many, many people. Okay? So I was just outside talking to the lovely Anna Knapp who lives in Wisconsin in the USA. We do FaceTime messenger phone calls on our phones. So it's nice when we have our, we talk about four to five times a week. Okay? So we were just sitting outside and I said, oh, darling, I've got to have, do a video. And she actually was the one who said it. And this is a quote from Anna this morning. Sometimes we are not to save someone else. For they are meant to save themselves. You know, how many times do I say, be kind to others, be supportive, be there to help them? But ultimately, if somebody else does not help themselves first, it doesn't matter how much other people help them. They will never get it. They'll never accomplish it, guys. Okay? So, today is about self-empowerment. Today is about taking our own authority and telling ourselves that we are the most important person to us and that we are going to get through this next two years. Okay, so here's another quote that just came from Anna this morning. I love her. She's such a gorgeous girl. Thank you, Anna. Here is her other quote. Don't look for a healer looking, look for the healing within yourself. Don't look for a healer, look for the healing within yourself. How many times have I said over the years, we think we create. The more we concentrate on something, the more it comes into our reality. The more we put onus or the more we put energy, the more we concentrate, the more we think about a certain situation, the more it comes the way we're thinking about. This is what causes anxiety because anxiety is based on the future. We're trying to control future events, okay? So today is all about tools on how to get through what the world is trying to do to pull us down, okay? So I'm going over to my book, Five Years in Heaven. Now, the first half of my book talks about my near-death experience when I died in 2001, what I saw when I went to heaven, my interactions with my great-great-great-great-grandmother, how my life review went, how my great-great-great-great-grandmother taught me about reincarnation, life lessons, life contracts, right? So that's all in the first half. The second half of the book is the teachings of heaven, how to be heaven on earth. So, Chapter 8 is all our positive emotions and behaviours. So I'm going to do an excerpt here today because I want to read some, only some, which are listed here, of the positive emotions that we can try to succeed to be or want to be in our life. So on page 267 of my book, happiness, serenity, gratitude, hope, kindness, enthusiasm, pride, inspiration, generosity, giving. Go over the page to the next page. Accepting, caring, understanding, compassionate, courteous, faithful. Ooh, faithful. 
consideration, and last one, most importantly, forgiveness. So what I do is I break down each one of these. Happiness was the first one on my list. And I go through exercises in how to be or create happiness. So if you're struggling with mental health, this book is ideal to get you through it, okay? Because it's all about how to let go, releasing the past so we can build a future that is positive, filled with love and support, nurturing, encouraging, etc. to others, okay? So I also talk in my book about changing negative into positive. There's exercises in here how we have to identify, accept, and create. Oh, so for anyone who is struggling at this point, I don't say buy my book because it's quite expensive because you've got to pay for postage and printing. If you buy the PDF version, take it to like we have here in Australia, we have Officeworks, which is like a business center. They have printers that charge four cents a page. I've just worked it out this morning with Anna, and it's only $34 to print um, a PDF, so then you've got your own hard copy. Okay? So it's only about... Uh, oh, sorry. No, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah, it's about $34. Well, yeah, it's about $34 to print this into a proper book. Still cheaper than buying the book, right? Um, you save about $50, by the way. Um, if you do want a copy of my book, it's in be down below. The PDF version, you can go to Lulu and buy the PDF version and print it yourself. It's a lot cheaper. So today is all about taking ownership, taking our self-authority our own strength and saying I don't want to live in a crazy world I am saying I am healthy I am doing my best in a crazy world where I am success this is what we all need to do guys to win this war my tarot cards for the last few weeks have been shocking because what is occurring is all these people in authority they want us all to be the tower card that I pulled out of the major arcana in my tarot deck they want us to fall crash and burn but guess who is crashing and burning it's them because their lies and deceit are coming out correct I've said all this in last week's tarot go and watch it because it's true this is what's happening okay so we have to stay strong we it's fine to say I want to go and pay someone to teach me how to meditate that is all good and sweet but don't rely on that person teaching you you got to sit there and create it within you okay it's all right if I say I've got breathing and and meditation exercises in my book okay but I've got a beautiful one here it's called date yourself <laughs> how to find out who you really are okay <laughs> I just saw it when I was just flicking through that's a really good exercise okay I might even do a video on that one um, but you know it's all right to say oh yeah I bought Linda's book and I've read it go out there and create it within yourself take that time to do your homework because this is what this half of the book is all about. It's homework. It's all about taking our own authority where we say to the whole world, you know what? You can do your damnedest to put me in isolation. Make me think that all this C vibe, um, Smiley Cyrus stuff is out there. I saw a video the other day. Hospitals are empty. Huh. They're filming in hospitals that are empty. And yet on the news they're saying that they, they're being overrun. What is this? What is this? The lies and the deceit. That is what the Tower card said only last Sunday. 
go watch my tarot if you don't if you need the truth of this okay because it's all crumbling now look at what just happened with the georgia guidestones who did that and why think about it think about it why was it on a certain president's birthday huh think about it okay because now is the time to really think about what are we personally doing what is linda doing for linda to get through this how do we get through this my pd my pdf version of this book if you want the real if you want the real copy you can go buy the real copy okay but there's heat stuff in here that'll tell you how to get through this okay i talk about all the self emotions okay chapter nine all our self emotions self-acceptance self-respect how much respect is are all these in authority giving us right now self-worth how much value do we put on ourselves self-love self-confidence self-reward and again best to last self-forgiveness so i go in and give exercises there's exercises on how to be the best version of us we need to do this guys it's getting very very urgent share this video with your friends if you're trying to tell them and they say oh no Linda you know you don't know what you're talking about so here's a video from my friend who just said to do it okay so we've got to start finding our tribes there's an exercise in my book how to find your tribe okay how to know who you are so you attract in the right people okay because as anna just said this morning sometimes we are not to save someone else it's not our job to say oh my god my sister she needs my help because she's doing this and doing that i've got to be her savior we don't have to be anyone else's saviors we have to be the savior of ourselves okay they are the ones who are meant to save themselves so if someone's ringing you all the time and they say oh linda can you do this for me oh linda can you take me there you sit there and you think hang on what is this person doing to be productive to be acknowledging to be taking their own authority to be strength within themselves they are relying on me instead of relying on themselves okay so this is what anna and i were just talking about on the phone the next one don't look for a healer who's going to heal you look for somebody who is going to give you the tools and the techniques so then you can create this for yourself guys we are at the crunch time we're either going to go one way or the other i'm gonna get you because they're gonna 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 get you one way or another they're trying hard they really are trying hard all of us scurrying around the world must stick together and i can't say the urgency of this because the more i think about it the more it's like linda get a video out there do this do that um they're gonna do all they can to make us fall do you want that to happen i don't want it to happen not to me not to my family not to my friends certain neighbors people that i love all over the world anna in wisconsin everybody else all over the planet who i've had the beautiful pleasure of meeting i don't wish bad or hurt on anybody and as soon as we say we want the best for everybody on the planet we must start with ourselves first so go on to google have a look at meditation go on to youtube and look at meditation videos how to videos or get a copy of my book if you want a private reading with me 
I've got a link on my website. The, my website is below. Okay, because I offer free re, um, free readings as well as paid readings. Contact me. My email is below. We've got to stick together, guys, and get through this. Because ultimately, we do win. It is in the scriptures and it's in the gospels that the good win. And it's now time that we stand up and show them how it's done. So guys, I hope you've liked this video. Get encouraged. Get your motivation. Get inspired to go out there and make good your reality. Talk soon, guys. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.